you are never alone. Within you are living trillions of bacteria that is in your gut. They are very friendly to you. They are of a benefit to your health. So we would really like to know more about the bacteria we have in our intestine and we cannot cultivate all the bacteria. They cannot live outside of, of our body. So therefore we had to go for new technologies. And two years ago we published a paper where we describe the variation in genes in the bacteria we have in our intestine. Now we have discovered that about a fourth of the adult population has a very low abundance and diversity of these bacteria. And these people are characterized by a low grade inflammation in their body, not only in their gut. And a low grade inflammation is a characteristic feature of type 2 diabetes and some forms of cardiovascular disorders. So we suspect they may be at risk of um, contracting these disorders in the future. And the other feature is that these uh, people, they gain weight more easily than people who have a high um, number of bacterial species. We know not much about the cause of why you have low abundance or high abundance bacteria, but we speculate and those speculations are from animal studies, but also a few human studies now, that it might be our own genome which determine which bacteria can live inside us. We know it's very important with the early environment, whether you are, for example, born by C-section, you will have another early bacterial composition, which might give you a different composition in the bacteria in the gut also when you are older. And we know, very importantly, that repeated antibiotic treatment can change the composition of the bacteria in our gut. So with this uh, new information we got, we will focus on what we call prospective studies. Will those with low gene count actually develop diabetes? Will they develop cardiovascular dis disease? So we envision that in maybe a 10 years perspective, it will be possible to, from a, a simple lab test of your stool to identify those bacteria, those gut bacteria, which will bring you at risk of contracting common lifestyle disorders. And we may imagine that by knowing this, if you are, have the risk profile, we may change your diet, for instance, or we may change other environmental conditions where you'll normalize your gut bacteria and have a healthy gut culture system.